So, performing a pressure and depressurization test, blower tor door test. And not only do you find what rating you're at, but little things like this. You see that little tiny crack? When I put my arm right here, I'm being hit with cold air. Maybe tomorrow when we come in here to perform the other test, we'll use the infrared gun. And since inside this room is 82, 83 degrees, if you had leaks and you used the infrared gun, you would see this air coming out and it looked kind of like a, kind of like a flame or a triangle, kind of like this. And this sheet metal would be cold because there's air bleeding in here like this. You also find that the conduit for the electrical is all cold because if the room is negative and pulling out and there's air wanting to be pulled in when the door is closed, the air will travel in from all the electrical outlets and from the electrical panel up inside and the cold air that is also dirty, contaminated, unfiltered air comes in and literally when I put my face by here through all these little openings, air is bleeding into the rooms. And if you use the heat gun, you would see that these lines these uh, EMT metal conduit for the electrical is colder than the surrounding air because of the infiltration. Sometimes if it's a room's positive, you go on the outside and you'll see the lines are warmer because warm moist air goes in. And when the warm moist air goes in and hits the cold, it turns into water inside the electrical wi wi uh, pipes, tubes. And this goes a few feet over and it drops down and water fills up the electrical panel and drips all over the contactors and not the contactors but the circuit breakers and everything like that so knowing where your leaks in and out and knowing about condensation can cause some very dangerous like electrical fires and expensive repairs due to leakage in or out see you guys later